Welcome back to Mock the Mock, where we take a look at someone else's mock draft. And I mock it. Giving you my views, thoughts, and opinions. We're going to Pro Football Network. Checking out AJ Schultz and his mock draft for what's crack a lacking. It's your boy, a bro schmo, just in case you did not uh, know. So hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below become a bro and subscribe let's get into this sucker chicago bears taking caleb williams uh again i mean the fan base everybody everybody seems divided on what to do with justin fields i have a whole video talks about uh the possible different like trade locations trade destinations uh, so you can check that out but i mean i i I think if the Bears keep this pick, it's quarterback. If the Bears keep fields, they probably trade out of this pick. That's kind of the sense I'm getting. Uh, I don't know if there's trades in this mock. It's yet to be seen. So I'm just going to assume this is a no trade mock. So you're stuck picking on one for the Bears. And I think you kind of have to go with quarterback. So uh, he goes with Caleb Williams. Again, I'm not going to disagree with it. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. going to the Cardinals. Man, it's just become very apparent. Like, the Cardinals are short on playmakers. They just don't have a ton of playmakers at the position. Grabbing Marvin Harrison Jr. would just be a mama freaking Mia, dude. I mean, it's kind of funny because a lot of people are comping Marvin Harrison Jr. to AJ Green. And Cardinals got like the washed, older AJ Green, unfortunately. Hey, father time comes for us all, man. But that doesn't take away the type of career A.J. Green had. And I'm sure the Cardinals would love to get that A.J. Green. Uh, pick three is... It's still the Patriots? No, it's the Commanders. They get Drake May. I think this is kind of... Yeah. Oh. There we go. Uh, I think this one's a little bit... A wee bit more obvious... Uh, that the commanders probably need a quarterback. Sam Howell being benched back to back, and they just announced Jacoby Brissett is the starter this week for Washington. So, yeah, they're probably going quarterback. Now, the Sam, Sam Howell, had, he had a ride. It was a ride. Let's just call it that. Uh, just couldn't finish down the stretch, man. It kind of sucks. The New England Patriots take Jaden Daniels. So they're like, hey, you know what? No, we're we're not sold on Bailey Zappi. We think he has probably good backup potential, but hey, we're totally out on Mac Jones. So let's go ahead and get a quarterback and one that could that's just one of the best improvisers in this class. You love the athletic skill set and one of the best deep ball passers. In all of college football, which is something the Patriots haven't had in a long time. So, yeah, I mean, I think Jaden Daniels is realistically probably going to be a top 10 pick. Top five is definitely in the cards, I think. Question is now, where do the other quarterbacks land? Uh, the New York Giants take Malik Neighbors. I love Malik Neighbors. Big fan. He was my wide receiver two enter in the year. And I think, yes, if you're the Giants. I mean, you can take your shot at tackle. I think that's fair, but I'm kind of a Malik Neighbors mark. So uh, I'd be willing to take Malik Neighbors in front of the tackle prospects. Uh, the Chargers apparently are willing to take uh, Brock Bowers in front of the uh the tackle prospects as well uh i mean let's just throw out there a right tackle could be upgraded from trey pipkins however you could decide to go with more pass catchers uh, i think the chargers are just gonna they're gonna be cutting some guys this year like um, i think maybe a mike williams a oh khalil mack or a joey bosa uh, they're going to be cutting some guys to clear some space. So, and I think Gerald Everett's probably also uh, going to be involved in that. So they probably want to get another tight end and just 
really good pass catchers in general. I know six is high for a tight end, but a Brock Bowers is uh, that darn good. Dusty Titans take Olu Fashanyu. So they go tackle. Uh, I'm not going to disagree. That's, uh, I think, one of the easiest picks to make for the Titans. The problem lies when there is, when you have to like decide on maybe tackle three at this position. But it uh, works out for them. They get their pick of whatever tackle they want. Oh, we got pick eight coming in, being the Chicago Bears. They go Dallas Turner. Uh, me personally, I do think uh, Jared versus a better fit. And uh, Matt Eberflus's scheme doesn't mean Dallas Turner can't work. It really doesn't. I mean, they've made use of Yannick Nagakwe and Dallas Turner is kind of a similar stand-up guy. So, but I mean, to be fair, like, I mean, you get real creative with Turner, put him all over the place, and just kind of have him as a looper. But uh, regardless, I think pass rush is probably going to be the Bears' second pick. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Joe Alt going to the New York Jets. Another obvious one. Aaron Rodgers, you got to protect him. He's old. He's fragile. You can't have him getting hit, and your offensive line has uh, been a bit bit poo Listen, I know you love the NFL draft as much as I do, and you're going to want a nice, hefty watch list of players during this college football season. Well, go ahead, check out my draft guide. You can purchase it for only 30 bucks by Venmoing or PayPaling me. Link's in the description. It's a one-time payment, and you get it for this whole draft cycle and forever and always, technically. It's a Google spreadsheet, so send me your email when you send the payment. I'll get you hooked up. You will see my current prospect rankings and big board, my full evals. And guess what? It updates throughout the whole draft cycle. So it's a great purchase, and it's a great way to support the channel. Atlanta Falcons, they go with Nate Wiggins. Going corner is interesting. Like, I get it. Jeffrey Okuda, they could, like, probably, what, he's a free agent this season, so they'd probably be looking for another guy on the outside there. Some people have said, uh, uh, who was the cat that came out of Utah last year? I can't remember his name now off the top of my head. But, uh, I mean... He's undersized. A lot of, I mean, a big reason he fell. Probably teams didn't like the size, saw him more as a slot only. But, like, I get addressing the position, but I, I mean, you got only one pass rusher is off the board. Your pass rush has been very, very just not appealing. So, like, if, you, if you're going to dip out on quarterback, which I think is fair, quarterback four, maybe you don't love in the top 10. Then go ahead and I would say get an edge. Oh, it's a different opinion there, I guess. Oh, uh, Roma Dunze. Oh my gosh, dude. All right. So, like, I guess if you're going to stick with Derek Carr, then just give him one of the best wide receiver rooms in all of football as he's going to be throwing to Roma Dunze, Chris Olave, and Rashid Shahid. Golly, like, the vertical potential of that squad is so nutty i'm not against it i'm certainly not against it the saints uh it's kind of wide open here what the saints can do green bay packers go with jc latham all right i'm trying i'm trying to right now recollect how rashad walker has done the last couple of weeks because kind of the big talking point for the packers uh like the last month is just how bad the defense has been but I think Jordan Love has actually played relatively well the last couple of games, despite the defense doing giving like giving him no favors doing so. But how's Walker been the last couple of weeks? Not bad, like fairly good. Maybe Walker, like Rasheed Walker, is worth. I think that I think there's a good. Argument to say he's worth moving forward with. Uh, I mean, if the top player on your board is a tackle, then I would go tackle at this pick. So I'm not mad about it. I'm just uh, intrigued by uh, Rashid Walker, a guy that a lot of people tabbed as a developmental prospect, has developed a lot faster than people thought. 
Uh, Alright, we got pick 13 coming in, being the Las Vegas Raiders. They go Keon Coleman. Uh, I don't love this. Yeah, I don't love this. I'm not going to lie. I'd be willing to go Bo Nix here. We just saw Aiden O'Connell uh, go three quarters without completing a pass. Yeah, they still won because the defense is really coming around. Uh, and, I mean, I would love to just throw more talent on the defensive end. I think you'd really have to think about like maybe a Drazon, like someone along the defensive line I would consider. I'd even consider Bo Nix though here. Uh, but they go Keon Coleman and I mean, yeah, I, it's fine. I mean, Coleman comes in, he's your wide receiver two, maybe three. Uh, Drazon Newton going to the uh, Broncos, I think it's fine. Uh, they lost out on Trey Mont Jones to the Seahawks, which I think is fine. Uh, that he got paid a lot of money, though they paid Zach Allen a lot of money. But big fan of Jerzon, that, that dude just top tier penetrator, also a very good run defender. So if he's the top guy on your board, then snag him. Liatu Latu going to the Vikings. So it's like everybody hates Chris, except for everyone hates Bo Nix. Uh, though Edge Rush does make a world of sense. Uh, DJ one of them just got up but him and marcus davenport are scheduled to hit free agency as well as daniel hunter i imagine maybe they get something done with daniel hunter but regardless you're gonna need someone opposite of him and liatu latu if not for the neck uh that caused him to medically retire at washington which is kind of the looming red flag i think to be be a guaranteed top 10 pick All right, we got Arizona Cardinals going with Cooper DeGene. I mean, very versatile guy in the defensive backfield. Uh, I mean, I think I'd rather go with like a Cooper or a Cooper, a uh, Chop Robinson or a Jared Verse. I think Verse is still on the board. Rather get edge help than go with Cooper DeGene, who, I mean, your safety room's kind of set unless you plan on moving on from Buda Baker, but I don't think they do. So he's probably playing one of the corner positions. I don't know. It's intriguing. That's our second corner off the board, by the way. Pick 17, our Marius Mims. Make all the sense in the world. You're going to be pairing him up with his old teammate, a Broderick Jones. I think in this case, you move Broderick Jones to left tackle. Uh, so I, I like him, man. Steelers definitely could use a lot more protection. Dan Moore is Cheeks. Kalanisa Fuaga going to the Bengals. I think that's solid left tackle or left tackle. Right tackle is kind of uh, an open spot. Even if you, even if Jonah Williams wasn't a free agent, like it's not like he's that good. Like he's a very average player. But when you're playing in the NFC or the AFC North, where you're taking on the likes of Miles Garrett, TJ Watt, Alex Highsmith. Uh, you got Odafe Owe, uh, Trey Hendrickson, though he's on the same team. Uh, you kind of need your tackle positions to be very stellar, very solid. And right now, right tackle just isn't that. Uh, so like Fuaga, I mean, you come in, give him a shot, uh, take the right tackle position. If anything, he maybe takes over one of the guard spots. Uh, I think you can move Alex Kappa over to left guard and then have uh, Fuaga play right guard. David Bay Buccaneers take Chop Robinson. My boy Yaya Diaby, dude, kind of went off for the Buccaneers this past weekend. But they could always use more and more and more and more pass rush. Uh, they're kind of stuck in a situation they're probably gonna have to re-sign Baker Mayfield maybe to a three-year deal where they push all the guaranteed money up front and they can maybe bail out after a season but regardless they're probably having to pay baker uh cold state kool-aid mckinstry uh we just saw the edge process no jared verse is still on the board right did i just miss jared there ain't no way dude. he legit yeah jared Ver verse is still on the board which i would really consider for the colts uh, i think it's right now for the colts it's uh 
corner or its edge. They get Kool-Aid. I'm a big fan of Kool-Aid. I'm okay with it, but I think regardless of the defense, you probably want to add more bodies, with, um, whether that's as a pass rusher or... Which I mean, pass rusher, edge, or defensive interior. Uh, or if you want to get just more talent in the cornerback room, because... Uh, if you're Gus Bradley and you're not going to be blitzing a ton, then you're probably going to have to create a lot of coverage sacks. Seattle Seahawks, Tay, Troy Fatanu, which uh, he could play tackle in a pitch. Ideally, he's going to be a guard. Damian Lewis is a free agent. They have been they have been beat up at tackle this year. Charles Cross, uh, Abraham Lucas. Uh, Lucas, I don't even think he's going to end up playing this year, right? I think so. I think, did he just go, like, back on IR? Uh, which is a shame, dude. He had such a promising rookie season. And not to be able to capitalize... Uh, not to be able to capitalize on that really, really sucks. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, Abraham Lucas has played the last uh, four weeks. Just hasn't been good. It's unfortunate. To be fair, it's been a tough run. Dallas, San Fran, and Philadelphia. But even allowed four pressures and a sack to Tennessee. I think it was Danico Autry too. Took him to task. Woof. Autry's a really good player, but yeah, no, if you want to like Fatu, I get it. A lot of people are stupid high on this guy, which I think is fair. You project him to be a top guard, then go for it. Uh Brian Thomas, Jags totally can definitely totally can definitely can definitely and totally go wide receiver here. Uh Calvin Ridley, you know, is kind of a Question mark. I think he's a free agent after the season. Uh, I don't think they were able to freeze his contract last year. I'm not positive. Don't quote me. Uh, but regardless, they need more firepower. Christian Kirk is their best wide receiver, at least most consistent wide receiver on that team. They need to just add more weapons. This is the draft to do it. Big fan of Brian Robinson. Los Angeles Rams go with Quinion Mitchell. Okay, okay. They're looking for some outside corner help. I think that's fine. They got their guy on the slot in Quinion Lake. Or, yeah, uh, and I'm a huge fan of his. Uh, Rams can go in a variety of different ways. Uh, I mean, when you're sitting back here, I guess tackle might be out of the cards. Uh, not necessarily. If you really like tackle, what, this would be tackle like six? Yeah, tackle six in this class? And yeah, send it. Uh, you're kind of hoping for a guy that can either play both sides or has experience at left tackle. But yeah, corner, you can make a con, you can have a conversation about edge, though you're looking at like Braylon Trice here. I'm a big fan of Quinion Mitchell, and I'm hoping, uh, he just keeps, uh, Improving that stock at the Senior Bowl where the level of competition is going to be through the roof. Buffalo Bills take Troy Franklin. We're starting to see a little run on wide receivers. They get a good size receiver who is a very nimble route runner. So with Gabe Davis being a free agent, I think that's a solid pick. Adonaya, uh Mitchell going to the Chiefs. Chiefs... Uh, Wide receiver for the Chiefs is just kind of an obvious pick right now. Uh, I mean, that offense is just in, on in the fritz right now. Like, it, there are very few options Mahomes can really trust. Like, it's basically Travis Kelsey. Some people could say, like, Rasheed Rice, which, yeah, he's had some big games, but they need more than that, and Mitchell would come in, and I think he'd be a really good fit. Uh, but Mahomes has not been top tier this year either. Uh, and I mean, recently, too, the offensive line's been banged up. Uh, Trey Smith got hurt last, this past game. Wanya Morris has been having to start a left tackle. And uh, this is a former, this is a 2023 third rounder who's trying to just uh, get adjusted to the NFL uh, speed on the fly. It's, it's had its ups and downs. 
Dallas Cowboys say Kingsley Suamatea. Uh, I like this because Suamatea actually could, I think, play either tackle or guard. So he gives you very similar flexibility to Tyler Smith. So it gives you options to what you can do. Suamatea also has experience on both sides of the offensive line. So good pick. Uh, I'm a big fan of Kingsley. Uh, Houston Texans take Terry and Arnold. So they go corner. Yeah, that cornerback two spots kind of open for the uh, Texans. They got Steven Nelson, who's fine, but not a long-term answer. We could definitely go in that way. Jared Verse making it all the way down here. I keep forgetting he's still on the board. Ridiculous. Hold up, man. Pass rush for the Lions has been lackluster at best and could use a boost with the dynamic pass rusher on the fold. Jared Verse is one of the best in the class. Why are he going higher? Okay. Well, congratulations, Lions. Uh, Dolphins say Graham Barton. I get it. He's got, he'll probably play center, but he could also play guard. He's got versatility. Uh, when we get in, when injuries do arise, when they do a surface, but I don't know, man. I I wouldn't mind getting a left tackle. <laughs> uh, to be fair, Graham Barton has played left tackle, so that's not out of the cards. Uh, Tyler Guiding going to the Eagles. So you get kind of a develop, uh, not even a necessary developmental guy, but a very toolsy uh, player who probably he, he needs to add more strength to his profile. Well, and might not be a bad idea if you bring him into a scenario where he doesn't have to start year one, learn behind your Lane Johnson and Jordan Malata. And this would obviously be the uh, Lane Johnson era parents. San Francisco 49ers go. Ooh, this is early for Blake Fisher, man. I think when you look by comparison, like I get it. He's got a lot of talent, a lot of tools. It's just, I don't, I th he looks like more, looks like more of a project right now at this juncture than someone you could put on the field relatively immediately. Uh, I got, I mean, Fisher's a big, big, tall boy. I don't think you put him at guard. You can't. I don't know, man. Interesting pick. I'll say that. Uh, Braley tries to go into the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, edge. Oh yeah. I mean, I guess that's fair. Clowney free agent, Cal Van Noy free agent. Uh, David Ojabo coming off another, was this an MCL or an ACL? I don't know, but another leg injury. So you probably are still looking for that cat uh, cross of Odafe Owe. Uh, Tyus Bowser just hasn't been healthy this season, but he's a very versatile player. So not to say you can't have all three of Owe, Trice, and Bowser on the field at the same time. So interesting pick i actually kind of like that one uh no second round but i guess that's it for the video let me know what you think in the comment section below and as always until next time be easy my friends later